Right. Number 33 from page 167. And the directions for this one are find the absolute extrema of the function on the closed interval. Okay, so absolute extrema. So before we get lost in the details of taking derivatives and setting zero and all that stuff, let's absolute extrema, I need to check the relative extrema and check the endpoints because those are the places that um, those are the places where I might have an absolute extrema. The relative extrema I get from the critical points. So the endpoints they gave us, that's easy. The critical points are where f prime is zero or f prime is undefined. So it's sort of the roadmap to this problem. I, I need to take a derivative, figure out where it's zero, where it's undefined. That'll tell me my critical points, which might be relative extrema, and those might be absolute extrema. But once we get critical points, we're just going to put them in a, a table of values and see who's highest and who's lowest. So f prime is cosine of x. And we want to see where f prime is equal to 0. And we want to know where f prime is undefined. So 0 first. Let's see. Cosine is 0. Cosine is the left and right coordinate. So that would be 0 at those two spots. Pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. But we are restricted to looking between 5 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. So 3 pi over 2 is our only critical number from where x is 0, or where cosine is 0. Cosine of x equals undefined. That, that doesn't even happen anywhere, so we're not worried about that one. I think I mentioned this last week. This happens a lot where the undefined one doesn't really enter into the problem. The trouble is if you forget about it and it does enter into the problem, then you're going to miss something. So you always check it, but a lot of times that one just kind of goes away. So no undefined points. We've got our um, derivative equals zero point, which might be a relative extrema, which means it might be an absolute extrema. So let's just test our values here. 5 pi over 6, 3 pi over 2, 11 pi over 6. Again, for absolute extrema, I've got to check the endpoints to see what's going on. Checking them in the original because I'm just now I'm just doing algebra like algebra well not algebra one because you didn't know trig but I just want to see who's highest and who's lowest so sine of five pi over six it's helpful that I have the graph already right there that would be one half sine of three pi over two would be negative one because sine is the up and down value. And sine of 11 pi over 6 is negative 1 half. So now, now it's an algebra 1 problem. Like, which number is biggest? It's not even algebra 1. It's like elementary school stuff. The, the biggest number is the 1 half. So I've got an absolute max at 5 pi over 6 comma one half and a minimum the smallest one is negative one so an absolute minimum at three pi over two comma negative one biggest value smallest value I'm going to recheck the directions to make sure I answered exactly what they're looking for Find the absolute extrema of the function on the closed interval. So this is kind of Let me 
again, that was number thirty three on one sixty seven.